Hey, 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 what's happening, everybody? I hope you're having a great Tuesday. You know, it would suck to be the Jets. It, it really would. It sucks to be a Jets fan. Folks, I hate to break it break it to you. I hate to break the news. Y'all season is over. All the drama, all the exhausting, all the Aaron Rodgers talk, it, it's done. It's a circus I wouldn't want any part of. I keep telling everyone they're a train wreck waiting to happen. Nobody wants to hear it. Nobody wants to hear it. You can't make this stuff up. It's the freaking New York Jets for crying out loud. You can't pretend to be somebody you're not. It never works out. And that's how they lose their identity trying to be somebody else. What if the Jets stood out as a team well in a sense in a way they do stand out but for all the wrong reasons they they only i mean the only reason they got all the attention is because of aaron Rodgers, and also because they are used as an nfl punching bag it's a trash bag of a team and i think fans particularly get a thrill out of poking fun at a team that has been an internet punchline for a very long time now. Then you add the fact that you went out and got Aaron freaking Rodgers because you thought that one guy could make it all better. The band-aid to cover up the wound. I'm getting flashbacks of the Mark Sanchez butt fumble. The Jets are in trouble. Trouble. I'm not sure if I should laugh or cry. And I'm not even a freaking Jets fan. I'm not even from New York. The more I hear about the Jets, the more I crack up. I, I can't get over the fact that the Jets have become a, tr a trendy playoff pick it's funny because this team hasn't sniffed the postseason for 14 years that's crazy i can't believe that i can't believe that and just to tell you how inept the jets are they have the longest active playoff drought out of the nfl mlb nba and nhl jeez boy and do you know aaron Rodgers has only had one year other than the Super Bowl year where he won two playoff games? Yikes. That looks bad on his resume. Nobody ever brings that up. Nobody ever talks about that stuff. I just did, though. And I keep telling everybody Rodgers is washed beyond repair. This guy, bro, he's washed. He's been in decline since his final season with the Green Bay Packers in Green Bay. What? Did you, like, expect anything different? Did you think he'd go to another team, New York of all places, and, and suddenly go back to being this top-notch quarterback that he was early in his career? His best days are behind him. I've been saying that for a long time already. Friendly reminder, the Jets will be the biggest disappointment this season. I won't be surprised if they miss the playoffs and finish last in the AFC East. Everybody overrates the Jets. Everybody overrates this Jets team every single year. I'm over it. I'm tired of hearing about them. I'm tired of hearing about a team that's not going to change for the better. It's going to be the same old thing this year. Things are not going to get better for a Jets team stuck in the same place. The tides don't change for every team. It's going to be more of the same for the Jets. And I and I think Jets fans, you know, they 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 try to be so optimistic about every season that they still haven't grown to accept it for what it is. Just call it for what it is. Congratulations to the New York Jets. You got a diva quarterback. Keep reminding yourself that the Jets are a playoff contender and you will feel better. Don't kid yourself. This team is a long way from being a consistent winner. Football nerds are high on the Jets for whatever reason. I'm not. Not at all. 
This is the world we live in. Accept it for what it is, folks, and you will be happier. You wouldn't be so stressed out. If you can't accept it, then you'll be miserable probably for the rest of your life as long as you're rooting for the Jets. Okay, maybe Rodgers gets off to a, a, a good start, a decent start, unlike last season. He won't, you know, uh, tear his ACL in the first game. Uh, but eventually, something is going to go wrong with him. I, I'm sorry. I don't trust. I, I don't trust Aaron Rodgers. I I can't hop on the Jets bandwagon the same way a lot of you have jumped on it. There's no there's no way Rodgers is your quarterback. And see, they thought by adding him that he would be a major upgrade at quarterback. I can't trust him. I can't trust his offensive coordinator either. The guy he likes to defend all the damn time. I would rather have. A quarterback come off the street and lead the offense. He'll probably do 10 times better than Rodgers. And let me say this as well. Do you truly believe? Do you truly believe Rodgers makes it through a full season? Their home turf at MetLife Stadium alone is an issue. I want nothing to do with Aaron Rodgers. I see a lot of stuff being allowed to happen. It's happening too much within the organization. It's an organization that's letting him do whatever the fuck he wants. During the summer, if you might remember, Aaron Rodgers went on a vacation overseas, which is why he missed Jets mandatory minicamp. This is what you would expect from an organization like the New York Jets. They let this stuff happen impulsive owner, new GM, coach with a losing record, the quarterback is prickly, older, arrogant, and entitled. I don't think he cares about his teammates. If the man is estranged from his own family, then what makes you believe he'll have the connect that connection with his teammates? You can't possibly think that. I'll be shocked and fiber-gasted if the Jets get to the playoffs with Aaron Rodgers as their, their starting quarterback. Just too much drama surrounding the guy, and that's draining mentally. He can give a rat's ass if he wins another Super Bowl. I just, he doesn't leave anything to be desired. The only reason he the only reason, look, the only reason we bring up Roger's name is because he loves being the center of attention and we give it to him. He could be the guy you feel like has to deliver because now he's been relied on. I can't remember a Jets team that won. I really can't. Now we could have this belief that Rogers is here. He's our savior suddenly, right? But that's not what he's there for. I'm telling you, the guy is not serious about football. More than anything for him, he needs attention, hugs, and kisses so bad. He needs people to tell him that they love him. Tell him to get a damn teddy bear and cuddle with it in his dark hidden place somewhere. Quite simply, I think the Jets thought they were getting a Hall of Fame quarterback and instead they're getting somebody who is now useless. You just want him to validate the blockbuster trade that was supposed to shake up the NFL offseason when it happened. You just want him to get it done and deliver a Super Bowl title to New York. Right now, with him as your quarterback... You're not getting you're not getting it done. I'm sorry. If your best idea of the best quarterback simply are who is the biggest diva, then yeah, it's Aaron Rodgers. Obviously, duh, a diva only creates drama and folks. Folks particularly in, in, in New York give that waste of space the attention he craves and lives off of. The man is 40 years old. And it's coming off an Achilles injury. And now you're asking him to take command of one of the strongest rosters in the NFL. I mean, that's a tough, that's a tough task for a guy who has declined. Who has taken a step back. So, 
the Jets Super Bowl picks are pretty hilarious to me. It, it gives me a good laugh. It really does. It's easy to figure out why the Jets are the way they are and why I don't expect it to get better anytime soon. I mean, it's not that complicated to see what the hell is going on here. I saw it when he landed with the team. I said, you know what? Aaron Rodgers is not going to work out for this team. It's a bad experiment. I was telling people then that this would end badly. And I still believe Rodgers' career in New York will have an unhappy ending. I can tell you for Rodgers, it's not about going out there trying to win football games. It's all about clout, trying to keep his name relevant. He's not putting his all in. This is what the Jets wanted, though. This is on them. Look. I mean, look. Look at what they got themselves into. And to make matters worse, they've enabled a guy who feels like he can basically do whatever he wants when he wants. You got a guy who is set in his ways. It's just another uh, bad move, another poor decision by an organization known for its failures. It falls solely on an incompetent front office that has done a lot of bad and not much of anything that would help this franchise turn things around and give them the best chance to contend. Sit back and watch it unfold. I'm all here for it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Really appreciate the love and support. Um, thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, thanks for subscribing if you have already. If you haven't gotten around to, to hitting that subscribe button, do me a huge favor and hit the subscribe button for me. Um, I really appreciate the support. Thank you guys so much. Without you guys, none of this is possible. I do not exist if not for you guys. So thank you guys so much. NFL season is almost here. I got a lot of great content coming up for you guys. I still got more content. I'm constantly working around the clock to bring you guys some of the best content out there. Take care, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.